For today's video, we are going to talk about what is arithmetic sequence and we are going to find out how to find the nth term of the given sequence. First, let us define what is arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is a constant. For example, we have a sequence 3, 7, 11, 15. 3, 7, 11, 15 is an example of arithmetic sequence. The second term is 7. It's obtained by adding 4 to the first term. That is 3 plus 4 is 7. The third term is 11. It's obtained by adding 4 to the second term. That is 7 plus 4 is 11. The fourth term is 15. It's obtained by adding 4 to the third term. That is 11 plus 4. That is 15. Then 4 is what we call the common difference. So to find common difference, simply subtract any term from the term that immediately follows it. For example, 7 minus 3 is 4. 11 minus 7 is 4. 15 minus 11 is 4. So the common difference here is 4. In order for us to find the next three terms, we just simply add the common difference to the last term. So the next term after 15, that is 15 plus 4 is 19. 19 plus 4, that is 23. 23 plus 4, that is 27. So that's how you find the next three terms. So let's have an example. Find the common difference and give the next three terms on the given sequence. Number one, we have sequence 1, 3, 5, 7. So first, let us find the common difference. So we have 3 minus 1 is 2. Then 5 minus 3 is 2. And then 7 minus 5 is 2. So therefore, the common difference here is 2. Common difference, it is denoted by D. Now, to find, common di uh, to find the next three terms, we simply add the common difference to the last term. So we have sequence 1, 3, 5, 7, and the next three terms are 7 plus 2, that is 9. 9 plus 2, that is 11. 11 plus 2 is 13. So the next three terms are 9, 11, and 13. What about for number 2? We have 2, 7, 12, 17. So let's find the common difference that is 7 minus 2. That is 5. 12 minus 7 is 5. Then 17 minus 12 is 5. By the way, you don't need to find or you don't need to subtract any term. Just si simply subtract one term, for second term to the first term that is 5. So to find the common difference. So therefore, we have sequence 2, 7, 12, 17. And the next three terms are 17 plus 5, that is 22. 22 plus 5 is 27. 27 plus 5 is 32. So the next three terms are 22, 27, and 32. What about for number 3? On number 3, negative 6, negative 3, 0, 3. So we have here... Negative, negative 3 minus negative 6. So negative 3 minus negative 6, the answer is 3. So the common difference here is 3. Now, how do we find the next three terms? So in the sequence, negative 6, negative 3, 0, 3. The next three terms are 3 plus 3 is 6. 
6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. So the next three terms are 6, 9, and 12. What about number 4? Go ahead and find the common difference and give the next three terms. We have 5, 9, 13, 17. 5, or rather 9 minus 5, that is 4. 13 minus 9 is also 4. 17 minus 13 is also 4. The common difference is 4. So in the sequence, 5, 9, 13, 17, the next three terms are 17 plus 4. That is 21. 21 plus 4 is 25. 25 plus 4 is 29. Therefore, the next three terms are 21, 25, and 29. What about number 5? 9, 15, 21, 27. So let's find first the common difference. That is 15 minus 9. That is 6. 21 minus 15 is also 6. 27 minus 21 is 6. Therefore, the common difference is 6. Let us find now the next three terms in the sequence 9, 15, 21, 27. 27 plus 6, that is 33. 33 plus 6 is 39. 39 plus 6 is 45. So the next three terms are 33, 39, and 45. So that's how you find the common difference and how to find the next three terms. This time, we are going to talk about how to find the nth term of the arithmetic sequence. So to find the nth term of arithmetic sequence, we are going to use the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d. d is what we call the common difference. n is the number of terms. a sub 1 is the first term and a sub n will be the last term. So let's have an example. For example number 1, we have sequence 2, 4, 6, 8 and we are looking for the 12th term. So to find the nth term of arithmetic sequence, we are going to find first what is the common difference. To find common difference, simply subtract the second term to the first term. So that is d equals 4 minus 2. So the common difference is 2. Next, what about a sub 1? a sub 1 is that is the first term. So we already know what is common difference in a sub 1. And n here is 12. Now, let us find the 12th term. So we are using formula a sub 1 or a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d a sub n, that is the last term, so we are going to write as a sub 12, because we are looking for the 12th term, a sub 1, that is 2, plus n, that is 12, minus 1, common difference, that is 2. So we have here 2, plus 12 minus 1 is 11, times 2. And then we have 2, plus 11 times 2, that is 22. And then, the 12th term is 2 plus 22, that is 24. So this will be the 12th term of the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8. What about number 2? 15, 25, 35, 45. And we are looking for the 16th term. So the first step is we are going to find common difference. Common difference, that is 25 minus 15. The common difference here is 10. And then the first term, that is a sub 1, which is 15. 
and then n is 16. Now, let us find the 16th term using the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So let us substitute the given. So a sub n, that is a sub 16, because we are looking for the 16th term. a sub 1, that is 15, plus the value of n is 16, minus 1. 1 is a constant, common difference, that is 10. So we have 15 plus 16 minus 1, that is 15, times 10. And then 15 plus 15 times 10 is 150. And then the a sub 16, or the 16th term, that is 15 plus 150 is 165. So the 16th term is 165 in the sequence 15, 25, 35, and 45. What about number 3? Go ahead and find the 26th term of the sequence negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12. So first, let us find the common difference. To find common difference, simply subtract any term from the term that immediately follows it. For example, negative 6 minus negative 3. If you are going to simplify this one, that is negative 6 plus 3. So the common difference is negative 3. Then, a sub 1, that is negative 3. The value of n is 26. Now, we already know what is a sub 1, common difference, and the n term. Now, we, let us find the 26th term using a formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we have a sub n, that is a sub 26, equals a sub 1, which is negative 3, plus negative uh, 26, rather, minus 1. Common difference, that is negative 3. And then let us simplify. Let us rewrite negative 3 plus 26 minus 1 is 25 times negative 3. Then let us simplify negative 3 plus 25 times negative 3 is negative 75. And then let us add. So the 26th term is negative 3 plus negative 75. That is negative 78. So the 26th term of the sequence negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12 is negative 78. What about on the last example? We have 8, 5, 2, negative 1. We are looking for the 30th or 32nd term. First, let us find common difference. That is the first step. Let us subtract any term for the term that immediately follows it. That is 5 minus 8. 5 minus 8, that is negative 3. As you can see, the sequence is decreasing. Whenever you have sequence that is decreasing, the common difference is negative. And whenever you have sequence that is increasing, the common difference is positive. Now, a sub 1, that is 8. And term is 32. What about the formula? That is, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So we have a sub 32, and a sub 1 is 8, plus 32 minus 1 times the common difference is negative 3. Then we have 8 plus 32 minus 1, that is 31, times negative 3. We have 8 plus 31 times negative 3. That is negative 93. Then, negative or 8 plus negative 93, that is negative 85. 
Negative 85 is the third, 32nd term of the sequence 8, 12, or 8, 5, 2, and negative 1. So I hope you learned from this video. See you again next time. Thank you so much.